Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack and welcome back. And uh, I've got a lot to cover in this uh, shorter than usual video. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight to the point. And the thing is, if you've been following me at least for the last six or seven months or so, you'll know that I've kind of, I made a video a while back ago that, well, I've been trying to wrap my head around exactly why the community has a lot of hate for Halo 5. And and I think, uh, I think I've found at least part of the answer, if not the entire answer. And that is, well, was Halo 5 too competitive? Now in this gameplay that you're going to see right here, it's a uh, it's a placement match for for ranked, obviously. But if you if, just pay attention to the gameplay, you will see that I completely shred the other team for the most part, and uh, and it's because it's uh, it's because skill based matchmaking really didn't play as much of a role in this one, even though you know it's 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 ranked, but it's a qualifiers match, so it's still <clears throat> very much random. So. Uh, and a lot of the community, I've also heard that like the social playlists were kind of lacking, and uh, and as you as you all know, the uh, the pro community is only like the top one percent, or let's say five to ten percent at the most, because even though the top one percent are pro players, there are still people that are aspiring pros. They want to be pros. They're amateurs, so to speak. So, well, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I've been uh, been uh, recovering from a cold and uh, should be gone by now, but uh, my voice still does a thing. But anyway, um, the big thing is that it's really important not to neglect the biggest portion of your fan base, which is basically the the guys that play less and just like to play and to have fun and not play sweaty all the time or just you know playing all the different game modes and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's the big thing, and I think a lot of I think a lot of people, especially for Halo Five, were basically bummed out about that simply because of the fact that the the social playlist was really uh, was really lacking, and on top of that, there were a lot of tryhards in social as well. So I don't know, maybe it's the whole algorithm of, of how the matchmaking matchmaking takes place. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, uh, that's a brief little thing I wanted to mention about Halo Five, and uh, one more last thing about Halo, and it's not necessarily to do with Halo Five, but it's uh, backwards compatibility has pretty much been announced uh, for Xbox One for uh, for all the previous Halo games, which is definitely a good thing. And I think it's going to help the Halo community out a lot, and there are still people, a good amount of people, that actually play the older Halos on the older consoles as well. Uh, but the Master Chief Collection didn't do that well, but the reason why it didn't, the, major a big, the biggest reason why it didn't was because, well, they messed up. 343 messed up on the whole matchmaking thing, and the game was basically unplayable, you couldn't find a match. And granted, what was it, almost a year later or whatnot, they fixed it, but <clears throat> by then, it was too late. It was too late then, and, you know, to top it all off, it, there are just other things that go into play, and I don't know. And the thing is, let's let's go, let's talk about COD for a second, right? I mean, everybody thought that in the beginning, before the game came out, obviously, which makes a lot of sense, everybody thought that the uh, Modern Warfare, that the original Modern Warfare COD 4 Mastered was going to be such a huge hit, but uh, apparently it wasn't. Obviously the game had, you know, a few good things about it, and uh, supply drops by themselves didn't ruin the entire game, but it's, uh, I don't know, the, the, from, every, from what everybody's been saying, because I never really played COD 4 on uh, the 360, because I came around afterwards, like around Black Ops one time, uh, everybody's just saying it just didn't play the same, and the hit detection was different, uh, everybody was dying a little bit quicker, and no people were moving, and it didn't feel the same, because obviously when a game is remastered it doesn't feel the same, and it was more campy, and blah blah blah, all these different things, and, you know, so, um, you know, when a game is, is remastered, or sometimes when a game has been around during its heyday, it plays different than it would, like, let's say, sometime in the future after it's been remastered, and after it's been, you know, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know if Halo is going to suffer from the same thing when everybody, you know, plays their older games with the Xbox One due to backwards compatibility, but, you gotta be a little bit realistic about it. The thing is, you know, it could help for a little bit, but I think possibly after a short period of time, it might uh, just die off. Uh, now, I personally hope it doesn't, you know, because uh, I, for one, am a big fan of nostalgia due to my age, but also the fact that, well, uh, you know, it's also the fact that, well, you gotta appreciate the old times. You gotta appreciate the precursor of the games, but the timing is different the times are different now games themselves are different and how people play them and how and the different options that are available today is different back in the day there weren't nearly as many options and that's something to consider as well and uh... one final note before this video ends and we're getting close to the end here is that the destiny 2 beta i think will be out at midnight 
So that is something that a lot of people are looking forward to from what I'm seeing on social media. But <clears throat> I am not as uh, as excited about Destiny 2 as I was way back. But I'm going to be watching streams of it. And if it looks pretty good, then I'll play it. But I don't know. For me, the big thing is the 60 frames per second. Going back to 30, just, I don't know. For some reason, it just it would feel odd. Now, granted, you can get used to it. But I don't know. Uh, and it is just a beta. And even though we're going to be going back to to what seems like the same old thing, I'm sure the, the official release of the game uh, could very well be a much more positive thing and uh, with much more variety, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm just not hyped, and I'm not expecting much out of this Destiny 2 beta. Now, granted, it is a beta, but I don't know. I have a feeling that it's, it's probably going to feel like Destiny 1 with just different weapons and maybe uh, different changes to the classes or whatnot. So, I don't know. But only time will tell. But uh, I just want to make this brief video uh, before I got on the uh, Halo grind today and uh, before Destiny 2 comes out. So, anyway, guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. If there's any comments, any opinions, or what you guys think, please let them be known down in the comment section. And as always, if you liked the video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.